Hey, ho, oh, what you gonna do? Start the stream in three, well, not three, two, one, because I'm, uh, I usually start this on the hour, and, or on the half hour, and, uh, currently, uh, we're almost there. There we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the BN Hour stream today on this fine 12th of August, 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been pretty all right, pretty productive, but pretty all right, because there's been a lot of things going on. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I, I'm definitely, it's mostly work things. It hasn't been particularly like stuff that I'm uh, crazy privy to talking to, but certainly we got a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of wonderful things to to discuss. But first, let's jump straight into the game because people uh, really want to watch the game. Uh, I had a lot of people click on last week's vo uh, stream vod, like an insane number, like there's 250 views on YouTube, and I'm like, what on earth is going on there? So let's jump to it. Wow, there we go. Duke Nukem 3D. So in the last stream, uh, if you missed that, the last stream was most of episode 2 and the entirety of episode 3 and then two levels of episode 4. The, the, uh, what's the, what's the name of episode 4? The birth. And in this stream, we're going to accomplish the rest of the birth as well as also the 20th anniversary levels. Um, and then, uh, we'll do follow-up streams for the, uh, three or potentially four expansions. Wink, wink. Uh, but that's for later. We're gonna try and accomplish everything that's in the game uh, now. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm gonna jump at the end of handle handle it because it's just at the end of level two. Because I shot like three enemies at the start of uh, at the start of this level because they're right there. And by shot, I mean not really shot. So kaboomy. Anyway, we have started off. We are in the shop and bag level. Um, what are we dealing with here? I'm not too sure. Certainly we're dealing with, uh, the I don't have weapons, apparently. Maybe I shouldn't be, like, <laughs> trying to use the pistol. So, I don't know, I, I don't like the pistol. I mean, I like it, but, it, you know, it doesn't do as well as I want it to. Look at these rockets just chilling there. Um, everyone likes a good, uh, supermarket level. Supermarket levels are quite ubiquitous. There's a lot of games in the uh, 90s that are either. Let's see if we can tag it. Oh, hi there, hi there. Nope. Nope, we're gonna have to get him around on the back. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> Got him. Damn. But, yeah. Um, so I see you up there. Ooh. Ooh. Did you just jump from that? Who wants some? Who wants some? What a curious little hiding hole. Hiding hole? Oh. I hate these. I hate these. Especially when I don't have a, a rocket launcher yet. I've got the shrink ray. That's it. Hi, what's going on in here? Pipe bombs. What is what is that enemy placement? What is this going on here? Randy! Randy! Are you sleeping on the job again? Um, I love the tire marks on the ground, it's great, but uh pretty sure you can just you know like <laughs> nothing sauce me there. I will get in there eventually. Uh but yeah, no, um we're gonna try and finish this game, this stream, uh, which will be uh hopefully possible. We'll see how we go. He shot the monitor? How could he? I love the, the music. Oh. Shooting the ceiling all the time as well. Yeah, not a lot of ammo. So far. Ah, oh, that's, that's just cruel the way that's laid out as well. Fortunately. Pipe bomb. I'm gonna get medieval on your asses. You wanna step there? Oh no, he's figured it out. Come on. Oh my gosh. You're just a regular guy. <laughs> Don't let me miss you like that. Um But yeah, let's dive into uh the the news of the day. Um I don't know what exactly caused uh, people to, to click on 
uh, the last week's stream. But yeah, no, thank you very much if you did watch that. Um, a lot of my viewers are not the subscribers, by the way. They're just people who click on it. So I feel like I have a slightly different audience every week. Um, but no, that's all good. So yeah, if you enjoy uh, the wacky commentary, uh, feel free to stick around or that kind of stuff. And if you don't, then uh, feel free to stick around anyways. I kind of appreciate it. I don't really make money off YouTube. Like, I, I, I've done it like once. In like a multi-year, like, amount of time it takes to cash out. I don't, I don't get enough views to do that. Um, flashy flash. Oh, hi there. Oh. Glad I interacted with the terminal behind him multiple times. Let's see if we've got this. Actually, let's use the pistol. I'm actually surprised how decent the pistol is on these things. Like, it kind of works. The moment you start hitting them, they go into a spin. Oh, it's almost like that's just a camera. I think it was this level that I realized on my first playthrough that you can actually, like, press E on them. Because I, I was wondering why there were so many of them. And then it's just like, oh, you can just... Oh. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even trying. Go. Getting some pistol kills while I can. Um, Looks like cleanup on aisle four. Nice, very nice. Where are these guys? I'm hearing them. They're probably directly above me, especially in this little vent. Why? Why is there a turret in here? Why? Why is there another turret? Hey, there he is. Hi there. I mean, this isn't, like, connecting anything too weird. This is just right behind there, but... This goes into a, its own room, so... How could you? How could you? Eh. There we go. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Button, button... Uh, button? Button? Button. Button? There we go. Combinations. Am I right? Mm. Press that. We've got an open window. I like this level though. <laughs> I'm ripping on, on Randy in my tweet, like, alert, going like, ah, oh, you know, some of these levels are claimed to have been made by Randy, but did he really start the levels? And, uh, that's. That's a fun kind of thing I saw, where it's like, a lot of the game's original levels were by a guy, um, endearingly called The Level Lord. Um, uh, oh sorry, a lot, a lot of the, um, original episodes levels, I'm not too sure if he did, like, episode 3, maybe he did. Um, but, uh, and I love that about, like, these older games, where it's like, each individual episode is primarily driven by one designer, like, not necessarily the same designer as other episodes. Um, but, uh, Level Lord had, uh, left the company sort of right as this was, um, being, uh, being made, being finalized, I think. Um, and, uh, in doing so, uh, not a lot of, if, if any of the levels, I think, are actually attributed towards him, but he does claim he did start a lot of these levels. Um, and, and a lot of these levels did, were pretty much just based on previous ideas. They weren't, like... I, I think in interviews they definitely said they didn't start off with, um, oh sorry, they didn't, uh, where, where is it? A lot of these levels existed before some of the actual levels that shipped with the game. Blow it out your ass. I'm glad that there's a, uh, button on the ceiling that I gotta hit. You know, instead of just walking in here. Remember to return your shopping carts, by the way. Oh, what the heck is going on here, man? You literally just have a room with, like, three of these enemies. And you do have the Devastator, but still. So what am I doing out here? Because that door hasn't opened, and I don't think anything else has exposed itself to me. But I do get to a bit more shotguns that I missed earlier, so very nice. Yeah, no, why did I need to come here with the yellow keycard? It makes this seem like this opens, but... 
It isn't. Well, we'll keep wandering around for a moment. You okay, man? You okay? Yeah, he's okay. Uh, I'm curious, because that doesn't show up on the map, so... That is the end of the level over there. So there's bound to be a door over there. And you can see as well, there's a section on the map around here. Particularly here where the red key is. So maybe that... Maybe this room over here with the yellow key had some... Come on, man. Is there something else shooting at me from behind? Not too sure, but... Well, this is that door. So why can I come in here if not to grab a red key card? That would make the most sense to have a red key card, right? Why is that a one way? Uh. Hey, you know, the, the rule of thumb is just always follow the enemies. Okay, that looks like definitely somewhere I'd love to go. But no dice, no dice on opening it. We've got potentially a decal hole on the ceiling. Oh! That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> I was not expecting these guys to shrink you. Completely forgot that that's a, that's a thing they do. Alright. Welcome to my office. And again, so many turrets. What is this? Quake 2? The expansion that I forgot? You'll get out of there. That Come hurt. get some. That was a hard code. That was... Hi? I mean, it is a safe. That would... Get, get back to work, you slacker. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Where we got here? Firejack Court playing Duke again. How could he? It makes the sound. And it would make sense if this contained a, uh, a red key, would it not? Blow it out your ass. But it doesn't change. Well, I've got that activated. And that wasn't activated before, so I'm looking for potentially something now open. But what was closed before that's now open? <clears throat> not that. I feel like I'm a dumby. But I'm also most of the way through the level. Get back to work, you slacker. Let's just see. Okay, we got an enemy in a box room. Two enemies in a box room. And I don't particularly see anything else. Oh. Not. Am I missing something here? What's going on? <laughs> this is, this is what I mean. It's like, oh no, how many years has it been since I played this? I'm trying to mash E. Jumping isn't quite right. That's clearly a switch, which isn't. Oh, now it's open. Oh, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, okay, I figured it out. I figured it out, guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, red key, red key goes around here. The level did indeed flow. Let's. I'm hoping to just blast someone. Yeah, it's a bit overkill. Nice. I was like, ooh, a little ledge up here. Oh, tank. I'm glad. I'm glad he decided to go off with me. I don't have enough ammo for you, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wing you like that. I'm gonna get medieval on your asses. Everyone likes a good old trash compactor. Who does? 
died by a squish just then. Ouch. should be mostly good unless they decide to spawn like a ton of enemies at the end of the level, which they usually do. They usually do. What am I seeing here? That's a... You see what I mean? Ah, just chilling there. Okay. We got... Oh, I see what someone got squished with. Oh. Hold on. Time the time the things at the far end. Down, up, down, up. There you go. Oh. That one, okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Do 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 That's good enough. There we go. What a weird ending. What a weird ending. Alright, one level down. Um, 16 to go. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do episode 5 in uh, this one stream as well, and I know there's going to be some long ones. Look at this dude! Hey, you take a picture with me? Oh my god, excuse me. Gotta watch out, man. Michael Mouse will get you on that one. I remember this level quite a bit, actually. I forgot who was part of this, though. I kept thinking it was part of, um, the, uh... The, the beach one. The beach expansion. I keep thinking that sign is an enemy as well. I like it, though. Very, very fun. That's a that's a me joke right there. You chick die. Okay, we're getting there soon, so. Uh, so I guess the big uh, technology story, because uh, this is a... Uh, <laughs> well, I was like, this is a technology channel. It's not really. This isn't anything channel. Uh, but I seem to talk about technology a lot because I love chatting about it to fellas. Come get some. That's nice. You can jump up here and then Come get some. jump up here immediately. Oh boy! Come on in. Okay, I've turned on something. I don't know what in particular. Was there a door down here? Maybe. I feel like I'm taking this level weirdly out of order if, uh, if uh, I've opened up this. What a strange pathway. Um, but yeah, no, the technology news of the de of the uh, of the week is uh, two things from what I've seen, uh, which is uh, let's talk about the uh, the uh, the AMD Ryzen 9000. Uh, desktop processor released. Now, at the time of this video being uh, streamed, uh, we currently only have the 6 and the 8 core processors out. Uh, AMD, we're going to release all of them uh, at the end of the month uh, of July, but then decided to delay them by one extra week, which means that, uh, oh sorry, two extra weeks for some of them. Um, not 100% sure why. They said the quality control um, I think that's fine, just because, you know, there's no Intel processors for a while, it's like, hey, you know, release it when you when you can, I guess. And two weeks isn't too much, I think people aren't going to be changing their opinions too hard on what exactly is uh, in these processes, um, based on a week delay, so that's all fine. Um, but they have come out, and uh, what ex or at least the 6 and the 8 core, and the opinion is, where's the gains? The, uh, the benchmarks, so far, unanimously across the board has been in games, and they kind of perform the same. 
it's a little disappointing when they perform that little bit worse, but sometimes you could just say, well, that's the testing variance of that, uh, that person. Um, okay, well, that's the D-Cup ride. Very nice. Now we gotta go to Babes of the Caribbean. Excuse me, I would like one ticket to see Babes of the Caribbean. Oh, no, it's the red one. Well, not gonna see it just yet. We gotta go to the One-Eyed Peach shooting gallery. I'm pretty sure Blood loves- Oh, it has like one of these like carnival levels earlier on as well, and I think Blood likes- Uh, I think sh Shadow Warrior or something like this? This is a very build engine level though, you know what I mean? So many- so many build engine games will have- Oh, that was like- It's a bit too obvious. It's a bit too obvious. <laughs> with a pistol. There you go. What is in here other than just some ammo? Just some ammo. Okay, can we shoot things? I'm glad I'm trying instead of just hey, coming in and grabbing the RPG. Baby. Look at these bears that don't have a... They don't rotate. Do we actually get anything for doing this? Let's see. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, why did we even come in here? We had to scan a key card, which gives me the impression that there is a key card. It's not going to sail along, is it? It's just like, ah, oh, here it is. Enjoy. Well, we'll wait around a little bit. This gives me suspect as well. Um, but yeah, no, these processes are not doing really any better in gaming. Uh, and there's a mixture of opinions, depending on who you ask in the in the tech media. Uh, if you ask uh, pure gaming sites, Gamers Nexus and Hardware's on, uh, Hardware Unbox are two common ones, and they get a lot of Reddit traffic, uh, so they're always fun to constantly mention. Um, I don't watch Linus that much, so I really should, like double check on what his video is because he has the reach he he gets a lot of people's attention uh although i'm not too sure how much swing he really has in the industry um definitely some things but i don't know uh the opinion is these these chips are dead on arrival that well not dead on arrival but they're, they're not good because they're not any better um i'd say the general uh take home is as long as it's not regressing I don't see a part being bad, just maybe poorly priced. Once it's regressing, that's starting to get a bit iffy. That's like, I don't like it when, you know, there's the new processor or there's a new anything, really. And, uh, it's not, um, yeah, no, we need a keycard in here. There's no reason why there's no keycard. So what am I doing here? What am I doing wrong? I was like, it's gotta be a combination. Hold on. Here you go. Very nice, also. Oh. Nice, in case I get trapped in. Um, yeah, as long as it's not regressing. So, Intel 14th Gen, I have the same opinion of, hey, you know, it didn't regress. Does that necessarily mean you should run out and buy it? No. You shouldn't. Like, at all. There is no reason to run out and buy something. Um, one, especially if it's like, you know, no gain, because then it's like, well, why? But also, a lot of people seek it as like, oh, you know, is it like a significant upgrade from 7th gen? Or, se not 7th gen, because uh, they're just skipping numbers, but Ryzen 7000. And uh, the easy answer is no. Also, I love this, like... Hold on. You gotta use the pistol on, on one of these guys. Or else I'll never use the pistol, you know? But I love this wait time. Is that also an explosive wall? No, I'm just blowing up the, the scenery. We'll get there. <laughs> eh. Whoa, he's coming at me. There you go. Wait, lift it. There he goes. Oh, we're almost there. We did it. And now we gotta shoot another guy. Man, they do take a lot of bullets from the pistol, don't they? Let's probably use this at some point. Oh. 
There comes the cavalry. Can you take some damage from being in the poopy water? No, they're just gonna... Oh my gosh, jeez. Well, I thought I could get away with the pipe bombs, but nope. Nope, not at all. Uh... I don't see there being anything other than riding the, the damn train, CJ. Eh. That was a good throw. <laughs> Too bad I can barely see this guy from here. He's sunk in the water a bit. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can we do a cool jump from here? No. What? Can't do a cool jump. Alright, well we're gonna have to wait for the platform then. Uh but yeah, now yeah, depending on who you are, sometimes these processes looked a lot better for uh, benchmarks such as Pharonix and Level 1 Text Video. They came uh, with a much more positive outlook on the processor, despite still showing very similar process. Oh my gosh. Despite showing very similar uh, benchmarks in the end. Hold on. Hold on. A bit better. <laughs> you okay, my man? Got the keys giving him an arm? I guess. Groovy. Desperate Who times call for death. Desperate measures, I guess. <clears throat> I want this door here, because it's like... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you monsters. You monsters. Um, but yeah, no, they came with a much better impression. Uh, they particularly uh, played a point towards its efficiency in uh, pirates. Uh, but they particularly noted uh, its efficiency in uh, productivity benches and especially things with ABX uh, 512 encoding of uh, coding instructions. Um, uh, they leverage the architecture on that is much, much better leverage, uh, leading to greatly reduced uh, power draw, although not exactly perfectly reduced. It still does draw quite a fair bit to do AVX 512. Um, and obviously as well, we live in a world where a lot of people still buy Intel processors and Intel don't have the AVX 512 anymore. So, oh my gosh, hello there. Uh, let's see, do we need to follow the hard hat area or do we... Yeah, we do. This is fun though. I'll bet you gotta take a lot of hits to deal with these guys every time. He'll get there. Man, it's a lot, a lot of kaboom. Let's, let's see if we can get in there. Get some goodies in here. Okay, there's nothing but a uh, pain and suffering. It's so weird that like enemies don't really go below the surface because it is two separate rooms. That is a very odd. Like this guy is like technically he's up the water. He said help. Kick the shark. I I I get why sharks are like. You know, they hurt you, but it's such a weird thing because they feel like props. They don't feel like they're actually enemies. And I don't have the scuba gear, so I'm so oh there it is. <laughs> it's like so I'm constantly trying to trying to juggle. These explosions are technically part of the map, they're not just shooting at me. It's just part of the map, guys. Do I have a no I was like they didn't give me a jetpack. Love to get up on there though. Ow. What the heck? I should probably use this as well at some point. Uh but yeah, the other area where this uh cart went to. Was uh just here, so we didn't lose anything. It feels like the end of the level is here. Does it not? Who is it? There's 
something under the ship. Maybe there's something in this room off to the side that I completely went past. Not really. Not really, no. Oh wait, there we go. Poopy water. I'm just running past these fools. Oh, oh, now we're running past them. Press the button. Oh, the oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Hi, aim down, please. Oh, are they firing cannons at me? Come on, guys, come on. Did I get him? Gosh, oh, uh, what's up, Betty? How's it going? I miss you. Oh, I miss you. Chats like a moment ago. I just looked over. Uh, watch live and stream. Throw a line. I'm having a good time, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, every time. Every time. Um. I just want to, like, not take damage, because I think That's a joke. That cannonball doesn't even, like, sit. It just rides the platform. It goes flat forward. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, nope. See ya. Oh, nice. Now we gotta do another code, because every one of these levels needs codes everywhere. Type something wrong? Hold on. There we go. Cool. Oh, that's a jetpack, so. Good convenience later. Oh my gosh. There we go. Are we done? Are we. Okay, that's just homing in on me. Please, no more. Oh my god. Randy, why you put so many of these enemies in everywhere? Well, we'll just end it. There we go. There we go. I found three out of four secrets, so I'm happy. I'll be back. I'll be back. Pigsty. I was like, what's going on in there? You shooting other enemies or no? Maybe? I don't know if he is. There you go. Let's get your other one. There we go. Um, but yeah, so the opinion on them has been a bit mixed. And yeah, depending on who you ask... Might be okay, might not be okay. I My personal take home, just based on... Also nice. Just say no to drugs. Yes. Please say no to drugs. If you tell those drugs no, they can't make... They can't arrest you. Um, but yeah, in the... In the uh, uh, if you use AVX 512 stuff, it actually might be pretty alright. Um, I've definitely seen some people say it actually has some decent performance in uh, RPCS3, of all things, uh, which can leverage AVX 512, but generally they're like, hey, fast, fast processors are pretty good. You don't need AVX 512 to make it work. Where were these guys on the last level? Hail to the Another jetpack, just in case. That kind of opened up a bit weirdly. You see what I mean about how these levels don't really connect. They are, you know, just their own levels. One's like, oh, a level that's a fast food place, and a level that's an amusement park. But it's like, how we go from one to the other, 
doesn't really exist. That looks like a wall that could break open, you know what I mean? I'm not strong enough. Uh, maybe I gotta do something in here. Chat on the mic. Hang on, wait a minute. Okay. There we go, I was like, that's gotta open up somehow. But it's not the key. Which I haven't got. So it's probably the other way. Blue door. Blue door. Electric panels. Blue door. Hi there. Hey. Bit more health. Nice. Oh. Hi there. shit. Bit of a dim corridor, but sure. Um, but yeah, if you play, uh, Go ahead. make my day. Nice. If you only do uh, just games, I don't think these processes are particularly better. But ultimately, just like Intel 14th Gen, sometimes they're gonna be cheaper than the 13th Gen. At some point, these will be available as the cheaper parts to the Intel 7000s, and I think, you know, likewise, uh, price point. Oh, sorry, I'm. Spec point for spec point, you know, like a six core processor and Zen and the Ryzen 9000s and a six geez, and a six core for the uh, the Ryzen 7000s. You know, they're kind of equivalent. So whichever one's cheaper, hey, can, not not a bad choice to go with that one. There's no real real trade offs, I'd say. Um, but uh, certainly, um, uh, yeah. While right now the uh, the six core is currently 479 Australian dollars and the 8 core is 609 Australian dollars. Uh, there's a US pricing um, but for me 479 dollars is quite a lot. One, because that's the same price as the Epic 6 core processor and if that's performing kind of the same I may as well go for that uh, but not really. Go for the, uh, the 7600 non-X that is $288 Australian baby. which is you nearly oh my gosh bro <clears throat> it is it is actually i've only seen die hard one and die hard two is not in a not in a police station <clears throat> can i copy can i copy my butt oh heck yeah heck yeah very nice very very nice and tasteful guys uh, i think i gotta go down to back here oh hi there i instinctively <clears throat> just shot ow Go now we can come in here. See what's the fuss. Oh, that's fun. Is he okay? I don't think he is. Everyone likes dealing with these. Um, your face, your ass. But yeah, the six core brain. for six hundred and nine dollars. Um, I mean, to be fair, the seventy seven hundred is not very well priced. Um, I'm gonna put the smack there. So I, uh, but also six hundred nine dollars is like, eh, it's kind of a lot as well. You may as well get the seventy eight hundred X three D for five hundred and eighty eight dollars. I'm I'm running all these off memory, by the way. Uh, if they've changed a little bit, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's the Australian pricing that you can find in the markets right now. Um, and yeah, you might as well just get a 7800X3D. Unless you do productivity, in which case you knew you, you weren't going to leverage that. Um, but uh, on the Intel side, I'd probably say the best competitors are the 12600KF. You can get one for maybe 250 bucks. It's a bit of an older processor though. It's definitely not going to beat the 7600 in games. But the 13600KF for 349 bucks, maybe? Kind of a toss up which which game prefers Intel, which game prefers AMD. But that that i5, you get all the eight E cores, you're getting a lot of like multi-core horsepower. Um, and uh, power is right as well. If you care about power, hey, you know, the AMD Ryzen is still more efficient. Um, oh yeah, the efficiency angle as well. Um, I think I saw some reports 
uh, claim that, like, oh, it's like 20% more efficient. I saw some reports say, oh, if you compare with the right part, you would actually get 7%. Um, the TLDR is anytime you see efficiency, is efficiency is always a curve, and also not all workloads are actually the same. A processor that claims it's, you know, 100% used isn't actually 100% used. It may be a bit more to it, uh, like different, you know, for example, things using floating point coprocessors or things like that. Um, so, uh, and on top of that, yeah, different instruction sets, different things will have different, uh, come on, man, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm just gonna try that again, because I had a lot of health then. Um, different process, or different, yeah, different programs will do different things, and, uh, might as well just preemptively hit this. How mean of them. Just to get street access again. One more. There's one more. There uh, so, yeah, efficiency is not a very easy game to play. I would probably say the best thing is it's for a particular, you know, scenario, a particular program uh, every time. So just know that just because a processor is so much more efficient in one game does not necessarily mean that uh, that carries over into other games. Um, it's generally alright, but it's not perfect. See if we can keep cheesing, hitting him. Oh, hi! Move my guy from the spot. Very nice. It's good to get him without uh, having a. <laughs> I love this. Is this the Oval Office? Who knows? Press that. We can now get the heck out of. Oh, okay. Listen, I haven't seen 12 Angry Men in a while. I don't think that's how it ends. Um, but wait, don't end the level like this. It was George Washington himself who who held the... Uh... Very nice, by the way. J. Dredd. Is that really his name? J. Dredd. He's got the big secret exit. That's oh, so I may have missed every secret, but I found this secret exit. And that's good enough. Area 51. Uh, I remember um, running a, some source port way back in the day, the first time I tried playing Duke Nukem, and for some odd reason it picked the very last level to start with, which is technically this one. So... I got very confused. I was like, is this how they start the game? There's sort of a lot going on here. Hail to the king, baby. They can teleport it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like, it is such a deep end start to a level. Let's get the other one. Grab it. Man, it's like, there's so many enemies just right off the gate. Right out of the gate. Off the bat, out of the gate. <laughs> Trying to do both things at the same time. Um, so yeah, efficiency is, is a tricky one to play out. Um, generally out of the, I mean, okay, generally across the board, I can't find a workload where an AMD Zen 4 processor can't do the same work as an Intel 1, um, for more power. Until, until you get to the very, very, very top end, then a 13900K or a 14900K, depending on the scenario, can pull more work, and no matter how much power you dump into the Ryzen processor and cool that, it can't do it. Um, it goes both ways, it really does depend on the scenario, but I think Cinebench is one, um, and Cinebench just... Cinebench is a classic, like, it's a benchmark, but it's like, bro, like, how often are people doing 3D rendering? And yet people use that as, like, a, a, a be-all, end-all benchmark number. You know what I would love? A, um, a, a, a video encoding uh, benchmark that's actually, like, scored. Because um, I use that a lot, and that'd be very nice to know. Um, you can do video encoding on a GPU as well, but um, there's a lot of things that, that like Premiere, you know, still uses a lot of CPU, even when you, even when you want to use a GPU. Oh, look at that! They've got the codes written on the armrest. 
I now know what the codes are later in the level. Maybe. Oh my gosh, that was a horrendous aim. I apologize. Oh, check it out. I'm looking over here. Okay. Okay, sure. Can't hit me yet. Okay, why can I leave? Oh, oh my gosh. I did it twice. I've got the blue key. Oh my gosh. Again. Again. Uh, we've got the blue key card. Where does the blue key card go? It wasn't back, was it? it must have been. That's why all these enemies are back here. And another one of these guys is firing at a wall. sense though. Do you remember the patterns on the wall? Because I don't. <laughs> Easy. Oh. Can I pick that back up? There you go. Take two. Take three. There we go. Perfection. This reminds me of uh, that room in episode two, you know? Did the exact same thing. Got some trip mines, which is the most useless weapon in the game, unfortunately. Nice room over room. Very, very nice. Cash register, cash, cash money. Love that sound. It's so aggressive. I got there in the end. Phew. Do we just do it? And then there's a... Oh. Nope. Nope. Very nice vent shaft. Very, very nice. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, I can't go in three, but... You can open oh, up one and it. two. Uh, but yeah, uh, despite... Okay, so me, me talking about the efficiency angle, while technically, yeah, there, I don't think there's really any use case where an Intel processor on Raptor Lake was less power for the same work as an AMD processor on uh, Zen 4 and likewise Zen 5. They do pretty well, and so I would make the argument that a 13600KF for $349 is a pretty alright deal, depending on what you're using it for, of course. Obviously, if you only game, you should probably go for the simple processor. Don't overcomplicate things, don't think you need the e cores because if you don't think that you, you know, your time is that limited, that you can't like just render on the same CPU anyways, don't worry about it. It's fine. Mm. I do appreciate a good morgue level, but uh, key cards in there. How do we get the key mm. card? Mm. We don't just blow it up, do we? Oh. Teleport? Shrink ray? Maybe? Can't shrink and mm. jump though. That's the thing. You gotta be like standing here and then shrink yourself. Uh oh. Maybe the. Oh, more of them. Damn, I ah, 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 ah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I like the thirteen six hundred K of pricing at that point. Um, dang it, dang it. Uh, there's also the 14700K, which you can also get for like 600 bucks. Um, and also, yeah, for both of these uh, 9000 processors that just came out, you need to get a cooler for that. Um, they do run more conservatively out of the box. Um, 
So there's also some uh, points the reviewers are making of how uh, people are comparing at different power levels, which is definitely an interesting point. I think, yeah, if you... if It's okay to compare out-of-the-box details, but definitely just, yeah, note that if the power levels are different, note when you're comparing... Um, actually, yeah, yeah, note what you're comparing, I guess. I feel like every review should do tests with out-of-the-box... Uh, a fixed power level that's conservative enough that kind of does the job. Um, and uh, just an all blazes uh, one. Because I think people would really like to know how all these scenarios work under all of these different um, performance uh, targets, basically. I was curious. Grab there. If I stand here, yeah, there we go. You know, from that other level on episode one. Gotta get used some other time. Got a jetpack, we've got a red laser that is gonna kill me. Secret place. Oh my gosh, I'm on the spaceship. Can I make a line about being on the Enterprise or being in a little tiny rocket? No. They did trap me in here though. They did trap me in here. Yeah, okay. Curious, but yes. Oh. It is Area 51. It's gonna have a spaceship section somewhere. We did this in Tomb Raider 3. We're gonna do it here. Dang it. You know, they changed their layout from Tomb Raider 3. How could they? I guess Tomb Raider 3 came out first. Uh, sorry, this came out first. Very nice as well. Uh, we need a yellow keycard. I have a red keycard. This goes in here. Oh, that's a good sound. Where's the other one? I'm hearing him. I'm not seeing them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Jump scare freaking freaking rocket, oh my gosh. And he's gone again. You see what I mean? I can't I don't know where he's gone. Oh he must be in the wall, is he? Yeah, he must be in the wall. Okay. Well, we're back here. We could just head back to the to the spaceship. Use that yellow keycard. Hi there. Pistola. Um. But yeah, I think there's definitely a lot to um to these parts in terms of like. Let's also talk about what exactly, you know, we look for in reviews, because certainly lots and lots of reviewers, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna single out Hardware Unbox, but I don't think they've necessarily done a bad job. I think they just have a very strong opinion, and I think it is because they have a very, very tight, um, you know, kind of target. Like, what they, what they measure is, like, very, like, pop the processor in, how does it perform on the same set of hardware, um, which is certainly a measure. Different motherboards as well are going to do different things. Oh my gosh. Different motherboards are going to do different things as well, so... We can't just purely isolate it to... It's the processor or it's the motherboard. I feel... Um, and I'll, I'll talk more on that one in a moment. Uh, I lost all my health, though. That was the only problem. And I know I have the Devastator. Okay, what we got going on? With our independence. Do you remember all the codes throughout the level? Because I don't. Where is it? Because I think as well, this is like this is a long code. Mm. 
Yeah, launch code required. I'm pretty sure it was like... Uh... Two on the far side, and then... One... Maybe it was, maybe it was the other way. I've jammed it as well. Ah. They're gonna tell me off on this one. Hold on. Uh... Da, 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 da. What's the code at the end? What's the code at the end? Da, 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 da. We're gonna have to find it. We're gonna have to find the code at the end again. Sorry, guys. Man, they got me there. Where is the quickest way? It'd be three, go through here. Because it's like, hold on, I'm in the chair, it's so the two at the back and then second one. Is that it? Is that what it is? Two at the back and then second one on the other side. Where is he? Okay, so, if I'm looking at it, is that like, two at the back, and that one. That'd be the other side. So... Two at the back. That one. Nope. <clears throat> Other way. <clears throat> Is that it? Nope. Are we good? Come on. Come on. That's gotta be the code. Right? Oh, come on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what is the code? What is the code? It's like, what? Well, okay, uh... The code. The code. Okay, we're gonna need, like, a new tab on this one. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> Error 51, Duke Nukem 3D code. Just literally, literally, if I just type that, I'll get that. What is the launch code for the secret area? Facing the switch, uh, and monitor showing Duke Burger, the right set is 00, or 00XX, okay. And the right one is XX0, oh, is it like inverted? Is that what I did wrong? Flip him. <clears throat> Flip him. <clears throat> now we good? What? I mean, it's the end of the level. I gotta... Ah, oh, what the heck? People are gonna get very upset about this. Where X means pressed and zero is inactive. No, no, okay. Facing the switch monitor. Yeah, so it's that. Maybe invert these. There we go. First try. Now. <laughs> they describe it as a secret area, but it's like, that's where the F level ends. You have to do it. You have to know it. Well. We did it! Onwards. Go with some postal. So what level is this? This is level six. Which means we've still got another, what, five to go? For episode four? Oh boy, I'm gonna run this one. Pretty, pretty thin. Time-wise. Let's see if this stream goes beyond 12 o'clock. Nothing, I'm in a burning building! What is in there? Ah! Come get Devastate. Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably Where use a... Is it? Hi, they just shut the door on me? Good thing this uh, building has a button to let you leave. The bear state. Hey! Hey! Those aren't even there by the, um, the aliens. Uh... But yeah, 
I can't. Uh, I, I've, I've got. Oh, okay, I've tried it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't have a particularly strong opinion on these processes, though. Uh, one, because I don't have them. I'm, I'm a kind of guy, like, there's a bunch of people on the internet who are, like, just armchair pundits, and I am probably one of them when it comes to computer parts. Uh, but I can definitely attest to, A, my Intel process has been alright. Um, so I'm not too against suggesting them. Um, but the key thing is, just control your voltage. I had the big conversation about that um, last last uh, week on stream, so I don't think there's any need to reiterate on that. But, as a follow-up, uh, the uh, the microcode update has uh, achieved a BIOS release, or a beta BIOS release for a lot of motherboard vendors. <clears throat> ah, that makes sense. Hi there, room full of eggs. I still hate that, like, Blow it, out your ass. it counts as kills, the shells do, and so do the, the spawns, and that total Hail counter king, does not baby. update. Which is a shame. Nice jump. Too bad you're dealing with me. Um, so yeah, so so uh, the microcode update, the big one that uh, people were hyping as, hopefully, well not hyping, but like hoping, would solve the Intel instability problems, uh, is out. And uh, from my observations, it basically does uh, two things. One, uh, a lot of motherboard defaults are now uh, using a lot more sensible voltages of not 1.65 volts. Oh my gosh. Also, hi. Pick up bot. Oh, jeez, whoops. Get in that. Get him eventually, don't worry, guys. Probably use like some of these other well weapons, shouldn't I? Bit of a wacky throw. Hi there again. <laughs> Green jump scare. Yet again, gets me every time. Um, but yeah, certainly a lot of the motherboard BIOSes with this are not reporting as high voltages, both as their like actual stock configuration, but also uh, just the transientness as well, which is what the bug was trying to fix. The high voltages is what Intel has determined as the cause of the. Uh, the degradation, not the instability. The instability is due to uh, too high clocks during those voltages, um, and uh, they've had a different bug that hope or bug fix that hopefully addresses that. The thermal velocity uh, boost bug as well um, is probably uh, something that contributes to that. Um, but the stability and the uh, the degradation are too. Mm, slightly separate things. Um, I say slightly separate just because uh, the um, you know you can have a processor be unstable and it's not because of the voltage. You can have the voltage be high and the processor is technically stable, but then it dies and then it's not stable anymore because it's dead. Um, I really want to use a weak, uh, a weak weapon, so we're gonna with this thing. Maybe this is all right against those aliens. I love uh, this this bit of health here. Very nice. Oh, I thought that would work. I think that would actually do something against these guys. Doesn't do anything against him. Of a kaboom. Oh, hi there. I'm gonna put the smack jab on you. Again, every time. Every time. That's where the key card is. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, we we're in this room. Were we? Yes. Oh. Hi there. How do we go? See ya. <laughs> That looks like a secret. 
Don't you know? It really does look like a secret. It's got the, <laughs> the shotgun chilling in there, but... Can't get it yet. Strange room, but... Hey, we'll figure it out later. Um... So, yeah, I... Complex issue. Hopefully this is it. That is the end of the degradation out of the box. Hopefully the processes are relatively normal. The performance hit doesn't seem mm, particularly significant if noticeable at all, but some people are then finding some tests where, oh, it is very, very noticeable. And uh, that's, keep an eye out for that, um, because if it is, you know, still failing and or still rocking such a high voltage, there's a problem. But I'm of the opinion of, hopefully you can watch that. Hopefully you can spot the voltage being a bit high and go, ah, okay. That's bad news bears. That's not how it should be. And um, it all sort of works out in the end. Uh, we gotta find a spot for a red key card, which probably not outside. It doesn't make sense for it to be outside. So I probably just wandered right past the, the door that's needed it quite a bit. We've had this room, which I've jumped through quite a bit as well. Must be the other way then. But this was the bathroom, which I've also found and navigate and that's a lift as well let's uh let's not blow up my my face a bunch Come get very nice i gotta stop doing that man i gotta stop doing it Let's, uh, shock radius. Come get some. This feels more like a secret. Where is it? It is nice, it's got health in it. Yeah, yeah, we're back here. Okay. Hmm, hmm, where do we put the red key card? I'm probably wandering right past it, but... Listen, even though I know Come I said, like, some. oh, you know, Randy didn't necessarily do the early draft of these levels, um... I'm still gonna blame him for everything that's wrong. <laughs> How could you, Randy? How could you? It feels like this door. Oh, ah, yeah, there you go. I knew I saw it earlier. Eh. It's not really clean pipe bomb hits. Maybe they are, I don't know. Taking quite a lot of pipe bombs. We got there in the end, though. Hmm. He had two bullets in the back of the head. Self-inflicted. This is a curious, curious hallway, ain't it? Uh, but yeah, so, uh, heads up, um, I don't... I didn't stop it! Who's the next one? Can I just reactivate it? No way. A couple of, a couple of these jumpy dudes here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm out of here. Alright, quick dodge. Oh. Oh. Not quite, not quite. Quick dodge. Oh. We, need to, we need to just go quick. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. 
I do not want to deal with that, man. I do not want to deal with that. That's just enemy spam right there. X, 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 Stacy. Oh, hi. Another, another level that starts off with a tank. And he's just stuck in a corner and he can't get him. We'll get him. Hold on. I got him. <laughs> a big explosion. Um, yeah, this whole instability uh, debacle has been real silly, so I want to just highlight as well that, like, every time I keep going, hey, you know, like, you can work with it, that doesn't excuse Intel, it doesn't excuse the motherboard manufacturers for shipping products that are silly and doing silly things. These processes should be, like, stable. You should put them in your computer basically until silicon itself becomes obsolete. Um... But they're running them so heavy out of the box. And this is all to chase numbers. And in Intel's case, they've goofed. Because this is, uh... Is this Rack 4? Oh, it's, it's back. Um... But yeah, no, it, it's kind of silly, so... Um... And it's weird, because it's... I, as, I remember everyone making very similar cases for, like, NVIDIA processors. The same thing. Um... Not the same thing, but certainly the same, like, hey, we shouldn't be running these pro We shouldn't be running these processes, so, or any of these parts, that insane. This is all to chase, like, records, basically. Out of the box, things are overclocked by default, and there's no- Ah! Alright, once more with feeling, sorry. I, I was not expecting the explosion to gradually creep around. Oh, thank me. Thank me. Oh, mm, my kind oh, of buddy. Yeah. Wish I had time. Wish I had Shake time. It, and you can still ask Stand people. And bark like a dog. Okay, thank you, game. <laughs> thank you, game. Uh, we blew up Come up here. Mm. So. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I hope this is the end of it. And. Hopefully, if you were affected, I hope that Intel makes your, your processor whole. Like, I really hate that, like, you know, there's reports of them not honoring warranty. That's silly. They really should. Um, if your processor has degraded, you know, and in particular, know that it's degraded, start trying to see if you can, like, undervolt it. And if it's, like, the undervolting doesn't seem to work right, that's how you know it's degraded. Um, also, check your voltages anyways. Because I saw one uh, one claim as well of like, hey, if you turn some settings on, the silly settings are back. You know, I kind of miss the drones. They actually are... Oh, dude, you know what as well? Uh, in the past week, it's been QuakeCon, and uh, my boy Samuel Villarreal is back at it again. I don't know if he was actually directly involved with this. They've done a, uh, a Kex Engine port of uh, Doom, which has Doom 1, 2, uh, Final Doom, both ones. Both of the uh, what uh, master levels, no rest for the wicked, which came with the Xbox version of Doom Three, uh, Sigil, and a brand new episode from or two episodes from Machine Games. It's like uh, seven or eight levels each. It's like oh my gosh, guys, you don't rest. Oh hi there. You don't rest. They're going at it, and it's a it's a chunky package. It's eighteen and a half Australian, I think. So it's like. Mm, it's a bit more than the other ones, and it is Doom. It's a bit more straightforward, um, but I played uh, the first three levels of the um, of the uh, expansion, and it's like, yep, it's yet another one that I know I'm gonna play through on stream. So I definitely will say it's good stuff. It's very good stuff. They know how to make levels for machine games. They definitely do. Blows my mind. I should really should play a uh, Wolfenstein: The New Order, um, but it blows my mind that like people, sorry, Wolfenstein: uh, Two, The New Colossus, because that one didn't have as good a reception, and uh, I know some uh, reasons why people didn't like it. But I'm also like, ooh, you know, I would like to find out for myself instead of just being outrage baited, you know? Because a lot of people were outrage baiting at that time. Shows. You 
know, you're not getting a lot of Octobrain love in this uh, set of levels as well. But it's like, they're also, well, I guess everyone's really an alien. You know what I mean? It's like... They just love their brand new bullet sponge melee guys that run very fast. Can they swim? Oh my gosh, you can swim. Whoa. I know there's more of them definitely up there that I didn't shoot at. Where are they at? Every time, every time. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the instability stuff is kind of tiring, and um, I think people were right to hammer the point home, but it is also a lot of people preemptively jumped on sharing it so much that now people don't know what the problem- sorry, not people don't know. Reddit doesn't know. <laughs> Reddit is getting itself mixed up on a lot. Uh, there's a lot of opinions on Reddit that are just like, eh, sometimes it jumps on, um, Know, hating this one thing, sometimes it's like, eh, it's okay, we found out the, the stats, and then they forget about it, or they don't share, uh, you know, follow-ups or things like that. Um, and I never know what the opinion of Reddit is. I think it really is just, like, the, the day of the week. It's not even, like, the same people looking at it uh, time and time again, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame, because it's like, if the opinion's all over the place, I was like, this has to be a, a pit. That makes me realize I'm not using my uh, health packs as uh, aggressively as I could. I'm glad I got neither of them with that. Let's, uh, let's not just dance with those fellas. Nice and simple level. Nothing too weird. Nothing too complex. Definitely not doing the 3D Realms time. Are they even playing on this difficulty though? Critical mass. It is critical that you bypass this game. Seriously, those, the explosions of these is like insane. Like the range. Yeah. Oh no, the door's out of order. At least that one is. Oh, where'd he go? Groovy. Oh, this is a dimly lit cave. Cave? Garage. It's not a cave. Everything's a cave if you try hard enough. Um, but yeah, so what are we looking forward to? Well, I'm still hopeful that the Ryzen, uh, particularly the 9950X, will probably impress some people. Uh, I think the all-core <coughs> workload is probably there, and the launch price Australian is going to be like 1100 bucks, which is... it's a lot. I don't think it's going to be worth it day one, unless you want a chart topper. But at least it's a chart topper, whereas originally, you know, these... the six-core and eight-core processors, <coughs> they're not topping charts. So why pay more for that? You know? There was one thing I saw a hardware on box kind of start going... This is a bit non-Euclidean, isn't it? Uh, they started going on their podcast, uh, Will Be Wrong With The Platform Longevity Angle? And I think that's definitely, uh, something- Oh my gosh, excuse me. Wow! Oh... 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 Okay. get out of here. Oh, I guess it's just containing the breach. We're gonna have these other doors open on me. There you go. It's a bit of a tight space to deal with these guys. It's a 
bit of a tight space in it. Gotta just stun lock the heck out of them with this. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. I remember this scene from Star Wars. I guess that's a button I need to press as well. Man. Randy, how dare you be responsible for this level? And there's nothing in this room as well, so that is the way to continue the level. They're all gonna get squished in that room, aren't they? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Watching the kill feed just get kill feed, kill count go up. Oh boy. <laughs> just every time. Um, yeah, no, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. There's still more to it. Um, but yeah, the platform longevity angle, they were basically like, what's the point of saying that, oh, these processes will be supported for so long if uh, you're not going to have gains on them? Why? Like, because on top of that, is Zen 6 going to come out in the next. You know, like. You, Sorry, uh, is it going to come out in a year? Is it going to come out in two years? Oh my god, probably two years. It seems that new generations are every two years. And by the way, losing all my health to this fella. Got a duck over here. I'm not half asleep, I swear. Because he still was close on me, that's what threw me off. I was like, oh. And then we get the heck out of Dodge, and I'm in another room with Pig Cop. Pig Cops. Another, another four of them. Got some lights, got some first aid, got some pills. P -p -p pills here. Do the motion, do the motion. He can't hit you if you're doing the motion. Can we just... I was like, can we just jump out of the building? I love as well, like, I'm not even using, like, the freeze throw, which I've just casually got here. And I know there's also the, uh... Someone's gonna want me to use this, the Ingrower. Um... But yeah, the problem is you can't use it on these aliens. It's like the, the one time... You get something. That's what it does, by the way. If you, if you use it enough times, the enemy blows up and deals so much damage back to you. What the heck? Come it's fun, up. but it does use its own ammo. Where is it? <clears throat> Go just for a key card. Where is it? But I've got health and armor, so that's all right. Onto this room where I will proceed to be able to use this weapon on. Very nice. But that's why I'm taking damage, so I might as well just use this. And I can barely see these guys. I'm like, I knew that was gonna show up. The invisible gang. I should probably be using the uh, night vision, which you can barely see anything extra with. Dang it, night vision. You're not, you're not doing too good for me. Dip in the water. Just, just all of them, I guess. Oh, that's a good sound. This is activating. I've got the key card. Oh my gosh. Hi, it's shaking. 
Uh, I don't see anything else in this room, so was there something back down here? Which I oh, there it is. And some health. Very nice. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. And now we have enemies where I cannot use. Can't use the thing, so. Um, but yeah, no, I mentioned I was playing uh, Doom a bit. Um, I'll tell you more as I go along, or just give it a secret. For uh, either you to play, or uh, for you to, uh, um, I guess, wait until I stream it. But, uh, no, I'm having a good time with that. Uh, recently, I also played through the, uh, the entirety, or at least, uh, I sort of have bits of it, but I played through the entirety of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is probably a game that needs no introduction. I think everyone knows what Grand Theft Auto is. Um, but it's basically a driving, uh, slash combat, uh, shooty game, uh, where you commit crimes and you get a lot of missions and it sort of, uh, popularized the open world game design that we basically have nowadays for virtually everything. Um, Thank you, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, San Andreas is also the epitome of chucking in with lots and lots and lots of gameplay mechanics. It has so many different side mechanics and modes and other kinds of things like that, uh, that it's absolutely shocking that they managed to have a two-year turnaround between this and Vice City. Um, I'm sure a lot of the engine is definitely... Yeah, it's showing its age a little bit. Um, the the uh, cutscenes have really, really solid uh, motion capture animation, so I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, why am I in this room? Where is it? It may- I get the feeling that this door needs to open. That was a bit of a iffy way to get out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. <laughs> out we go. Out we go. <laughs> was a critical, critical level. Derelict. I love this level. It is large, but I love it. It's good fun. I was going to say, we're already an hour 27, and I know there's two levels left at least in the episode. I might have to call it in this stream, and then we probably do another stream later. Yeah. Dang it, stream title, you're gonna have to change, because I was intending Duke's Travels to be for the World Tour level. Oh well. Next week's stream will be called Duke's Travels again. Um, I always do that. Sometimes I'm like, I actually have like a very particular song that I want to line up. Just, just name only. And it's like, yep, it's, uh, haven't quite lined up like that, so, oh well. Uh, this level is cool, albeit I hate the lightning. And I hate these guys on the outside. Let's just dive in. So, uh, the main way you start the level is, I believe, there's a... Well, I guess there's a tether to the ground, like a spaceship tether. Um, thank you, lightning. But I'm pretty sure there's an actual, like, entranceway somewhere on the side. Of there we go, you can kind of see it here. It says it's a secret. Oh, it says it's a secret, but trust me, this is actually how you start the level. Unless that one actually was a secret. That one actually may have been a secret. That means I've got to chase those two dudes who fell down the hole. Oh, they're gonna be on the ground. They can't follow me here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's a uh, there's an underwater entrance that we need to address. It is. I know there's this, but that's for the end of the level. So where are we going? Valdez 2. Yeah, okay. Maybe there was a crane from memory. I know I just I know I've got the jetpack. Oh, I want to remember what you do without the jetpack. I don't suppose you get a crane to yeah, pick you up from here. Oh yeah, you totally do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're basically public enemy number one as you try and do it. I hate trying to fight the pick up some water. It's not, it doesn't feel quite right. 
And you're constantly, yeah, you're constantly getting blasted by this one turret. And I miss it, and I gotta wait for it again. Ugh. At least you know you're standing on it. See what I mean? Like, getting hit by the lightning, this guy's shooting at me. Still on it. I haven't gotten off it yet. There we go. Alright, now we're on the ship. Now I can gush about how I love boat levels in games. Boats are cool. They make really fun levels. The lightning is a bit of an optional feature, but I'm okay with it. Let's sneak our way into... into? Not yet. Hey, this guy's easier to dodge than a uh, manky bite. Is the other side free? Nope. Very nice, I'm glad I did that to myself. I think you just gotta do the jump. The lightning gauntlet, if you will. Oh, I thought it was turrets. Oh, it is still turrets, anyways. There we go. Finally took out all these dudes. Now we can start getting around to exploring the ship. Now I love this ship because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of room over room going on on the whole thing. I mean, from the outside it still makes sense. It's like, oh, you know, like, the edge of the ship's there and technically the water is underneath. But then it's like you start getting, like, the staircase and then it's like, okay, well, we're gonna have a room over room here and somehow have all these other doors and stuff programmed right, so... Big props to the room over room. There's a lot of games that did not do, you know, 3D like that. And I think that in this game it works quite seamlessly. Oh. Hi there. Big explosion. It's just chilling. <laughs> At least the enemy count is a lot of these small dudes. Not exclusively, though. Not exclusively. Um, yeah, San Andreas is definitely a, uh, a very, very important game, I feel. And uh, all three of those games are very important in their own ways. Um, and I, I, I think, uh, certainly the legacy of San Andreas is, uh, well regarded. I think a lot of people know that San Andreas is the biggest experience by far. And it definitely is. I think there's so many different, like, side features and mechanics in San Andreas that most people have probably played for the game and aren't even aware that these things even exist in the game. For example, triathlons, uh, they exist in the game. Uh, there's, uh, you can drive a train. Come on. Hate that. There's a guy out there and there's no ammo in here, but this is where this is where the key card was, so we're gonna have to wing it. Where this guy is hiding. Whoop! Ooh, speedy man. Ooh. Must be in the stairway then. There he is. Hell. Somehow that went oh. I went through the <laughs> went through the door, but there you go. All right, back down the stairs. More stairs. I hate barrels, but Come on, teleporters. I'm 
glad that's the weapon that I just, just auto switch to. Uh, yeah, no, San Andreas is great because it has all this stuff, and I think it's presented in just the right way. Um, where almost all side objectives are just things that you have to remember are there on the map. Or, yeah, they're, like, significant enough that, like, oh, okay, we can... Just... Who's playing with the doors? and I don't like it. Alright, so it seems I need the red key card when I come back here, so okay. Lower deck. Red key card territory. And uh I'm gonna see how far I get with this thing. Very far. It's too far over on my keyboard. I don't like it. just reactively hit it. I should be really using. Um, also, yeah, uh, sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm missing the chat. The chat is happening. And I'm too, like, ah, oh, I'm terrible at this. I need, like, a sound in my ear. Um, thank you, Magical Mammal, for the uh, have fun, Duke and Anuke. And I, I'm terrible. I'm doing terribly looking at chat today. I'm sorry. I'm rambling too much about intel. Uh, <laughs> keeps happening, it always does. Uh, blue keycard, blue keycard. I've wandered around here. I don't think, I mean, the blue keycard was at the top here, so it makes sense to not be up the top floor anymore. Where is it? Unless we go outside, or... Um, I don't suppose it was in that one secret area, wasn't it? No. Oh my gosh, we walk past it all the time. Can we see a dude? Here we go. Now the map is a lot quieter. Your face, your ass, the difference. I had the whole submarine. I'm gonna use the whole submarine. Yeah. Been since the blessing of the rat god. Oh, I've been very, very good. The rat god has been um, real chill. He's been quite dormant. I don't think we've had another rat god sighting, but. You know, he will rise once again. See what happened? I got rid of the messages, by the way. I keep accidentally hitting that. Um, you'll never know that I picked up items. All these bunk beds. Um, yeah. I still haven't... I, yeah, I know. I still haven't, um, played, uh... Actually, no. I, I, I was like, I was like, what's I gonna play Mirror's Edge, uh, Catalyst? Wine on stream? I think I was, yeah. I haven't played it yet, so... I haven't ruined that yet, but, uh... We'll, uh, we'll see that one at one point, soon. Um... Yeah, on a replaying of San Andreas, I definitely had a, uh, a feeling of, um... You know, like... The story does hold up quite nicely. Albeit, I think it's... Oh boy. Albeit, I think... San Andreas is a very padded game. There's a lot of things where I'm just like, that did not really need to exist in the game, or things like that. The valet parking is like one feature where it's like, that just happens. It's part of one mission, and then later on, it's a little side objective you can just do again if you wanted to. Did he get eaten? No. Yeah, no, did he get eaten? He just disappeared right there. Returned to soil. God sort of out. 
But, uh... But yeah, no, the rest of San Andreas is pretty alright. Um, the music is great, the, um, the writing is really good. Uh, I like those voice actors. Gonna be lurking. Enjoy the pew pews. Later. See ya. Peace. Have a good one. Uh... Let's see. This is where I came from. Because we went up here. So it makes sense if, uh... Yeah, there's stuff in here. I was like, I know... I knew there was gonna be a long level. Ah. Uh, Let's just let them enjoy being in there with each other. I'm getting a lot of, like, squish kills, I'll tell you that. Also, hi. Hi, excuse me. That's just cool. Even if the explosions do hit them multiple times. I'm actually surprised that we've got most of the enemies in this level already. But certainly the uh, amount of time I'm spending is uh, quite exorbitant. I'm, I was, uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to get the, that 20th anniversary level set done today, because I'm going to be absolutely tired, absolutely knackered. <coughs> That's okay. <coughs> oh, hi there. Just, I was like, it's on the other side. I take more damage doing that. What what can I do that will like help me out? Can't get me. You can't get me up here. You die. He can though. So watch out, man! He's firing rockets at you. Um, but yeah, no. I definitely recommend San Andreas, but it certainly is a little... It's a bit inconsistent. The bloatiness is definitely there, and if you if you don't like modern game mechanics, you're probably gonna find San Andreas kinda did them a lot earlier than a lot of other games did. But, I think that's also neat in how it pioneered things. Um, and I think it does it quite earnestly. And it doesn't really... It's designed in a way that it doesn't even, like, care if the player doesn't even notice that there's so many mechanics there. Which is quite shocking. Because it's just like, man, you know, new games are afraid that you're going to miss things. They really hate it. It's just where one of these guys, like, phased into, he phased into the wall. And now he's here. Maybe that's fine. Um, but yeah, no, highly recommend. Give San Andreas a replay if you, um, played it ages ago. Uh, oh, which one had the red key card? I knew we saw it earlier. Don't I don't remember if it was down on the decks or whether it was like back up somewhere. But we've got it in this room. And there's not much else because that's the crew quarters. This is going around. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Just side. Right at the door. We got him. We got him, don't worry. There it is. I do like me a good engine room, but I hate these guys. I hate these guys. They just take so many shots. You know, like, sorry, not that, not that I actually hate them that they take so many shots, but it's like, no, yeah, they're kind of bullet spongy. Kind of. Oh, shouldn't have opened my mouth. I just hate how much health. How much damage you take off that? If you don't have armor, you're kind of screwed. Because that minigun is just going to hit you like tons. Ah. This is the Blender complaints about Duke Nukem 3D part. So uh, the other game that I played through uh, was uh, Professor Layden and the Pandora's Box, or otherwise known as in the states as Professor Layden and the Diabolical Box. That box indeed is diabolical, and uh, it's the second of the Professor Layden DS games. Uh, play as uh, Professor Layden and his apprentice Luke and you go around and you solve puzzles. Uh, there's this whole plot about how there's a box that kills people when they open it and you're trying to hunt down the box uh, and your journey leads you towards a train which uh, is uh, traveling towards an unknown destination. Lots of mystery around that. Um, it's sort of 
is a bit backloaded in how the story is presented. It's like a lot of it gets going once the pieces are in play, but it sets a lot of pieces just to try and really confuse you, which is generally how all latent games kind of work, uh, story-wise. Um, but it's good fun. It's good fun to um, experience. Yeah, there's a lot of these dudes. Let me go. That was a clean. That was a very clean hit. Uh, yeah. As for actual gameplay, Professor Layden is basically the easiest point-and-click adventure game you've ever played because you literally just tap on things and eventually it all solves itself. You don't have to decide anything in the story. You don't have to solve a puzzle out in the story, really. But sometimes the game itself kicks in with a puzzle. Whether that's a character going, hey, you know, this thing reminds me of a puzzle. Or sometimes it's actually in the world itself. And, uh, but they go into this puzzle sequence where most of the puzzles are basically a get it right kind of thing. You're gonna, you're gonna make sure that you get that puzzle solution right or else the game is gonna get very upset that you didn't actually know how to solve it. Um, all the puzzles involve, uh, you know, are sometimes like riddles, sometimes they're, uh, you know, they're red herring star questions, sometimes they're math. I'm amazed I dodged that rocket. Wow. Um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes the, the math questions. There's a secret up there, what? It's a bit noisy up there, ain't it? Oh no, I think it's dragging him along. <laughs> what a man. Oh, hi there. <laughs> it's coming out through the floor. I have no idea what's going on there. What's happening? Who is down there? Cool. Probably explains the secret. It's got boots. Everyone likes boots. Uh, okay, so we need- oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so one, I need my shotgun. Not sure why the music stopped. Listen, it's a big level, though, I'll tell you that. We're already, like, 20 minutes in, we're still going. Uh, is there anything to do in here, or...? Maybe. I don't know. I noticed my health a little bit too late. I noticed it was a little bit too late. That's with the boots as well. Uh, lots of this happening. Damn, I'm good. We got another flyer? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. The puzzles uh, are generally pretty good. I, I think they are an improvement on the first game's puzzles. Uh, Albeit, there's a lot of um, sliding block puzzles in the second game, like quite a fair bit. And uh, some of the later ones are just like, whoa, they're shockingly <clears throat> aggressive when it comes to like just needing to understand sliding block puzzles. And not the, not the kind where it's like, oh, you just like rotate things around. It's like, no, the, the kind where it's like, okay, you see what I mean? It's like, yeah, the, oh, the, bo the boots die down so quick and I can't jump. This one. Once more with feeling. Once more with feeling. It's a bit better, ain't it? I have no idea. I'm getting turned around so hard in this, like, underground part, but... Underground? You know what I mean. It's like, it's, it's one big, long... Big, long, under... Under the decks. The lower decks, if you will. Um, but yeah, certainly, uh, you know, I enjoy Professor Layton games. I played these games 15 years ago, and I forgot almost all the puzzles by then. So, I'd probably say the replayability of the game's actually kind of there. It, like, after a while, you just forget what, what was in it, and you're like, ah. I appreciate you trying to make the shot here. Use the lights on. My power bill is insane this this quarter. Where is it? Is that concrete? Oh, no, it's water. I think. I don't know what's with the lack of a reflective surface, but sure, yeah. Uh okay, I'm wandering around a ton. 
And we came in through here. And we got through here and I opened that. And we've done the rounds and where am I going? Probably in here, right? That does gotta hurt. That's a good sound, ain't it? Oh, jeez! So many of them down there. At least I don't have to see the big guy, I can just, you know, pop it up from the comfort of my living room. I don't know if I'm really hitting him with these. You know, you know that was, that one definitely hit the water because I heard it right out of my left ear. I'm getting kills. I'm definitely hitting things. Neato. He has done skis. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it is the end of the level, so. Oh, he actually got oh, high there. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Let's just get out of here, shall we? <laughs> long level, man. Long level. Let's see how we go. The Queen. This is the final level, but it is still a level. I think. No, actually, it's an arena level. All right, let's let's save now, just to just to make sure I've got this right. So I believe there's a lot of items all around, but this Queen is certainly a uh, well a treat. We've got this bridge, goes across. We're gonna unlock the switch, I guess. Where is it? That makes sense. Okay. You got grape soda. Oh, that's a loud sound. Oh. Now the enemy counter will be lying to me from this point this point on. Very nice by the way, shrunk the wrong guy. Honey, I shrunk the wrong enemy. Blow it out your ass. Just like enemies I don't want to deal with. You and you and you. Kind of going down. Uh, something's up. The enemy count is going down, guys. I like how they put them around things that they just want you to explode, anyways. Okay, uh, that's a underground part. Yeah, we are certainly not at 62 out of 67 enemies. We certainly have more than five enemies left in the level. I'm seeing more than five right now. It's confusing. I actually feel like this number is probably like as a counter for how many enemies are left in the level, and that counter hits zero pretty quick. Just a super inaccurate figure. Why would you do this, build engine? Hi there. Okay, so that guy's chilling there. 
Um, do we dare just try the try the luck with this thing? Oh, we got it! Very nice, very nice. I'm, uh, is it luck based or is it like damage based? I don't know if it is or what it is really. That's a lot of things taking place at the same time. I'm hearing the guy out oh, there. I was like, I was like, he's somewhere. Get him. There we go. Um. Do I mention the Borderlands movie? Sure. Um. It's opening weekend. It sort of flops real hard. And I know I don't have the, uh, Massive audience. <coughs> Is there a switch on the other side? Though? Okay. Hey there. How you doing? I'm gonna get. Got him. But why? Interesting. Okay, sure. I still need a blue key card. I still need a blue key card. Uh, yeah, that Borderlands movie ain't doing too hot. And uh, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, one of which is uh, I didn't ask for a Borderlands movie. And also, I think Borderlands has missed its prime. 2012. Um. I know a lot of people like Borderlands, and I think that's one where, like, I have a lot of things to say about that game if I ever did, like, a playthrough on stream, but it is a long game, and it's generally, uh, I don't know if it's exactly gonna be the, like, the greatest, like, you know, my, like, two-hour stream experience, because it's definitely a fair bit of a game to get through as well. Hey, that's cheating. That's the wall. Oh, I'm taking a bit too much damage from that one guy in particular. You can't just phase into the wall. That's that's not nice. Um. Yeah. Okay. There's certainly a, a mystery going on with this room here. Water, I reveal, I open that. This isn't going to a different room, this is just some other area underneath. Oh, we had this. Damn it. Nice. Oh, you gotta go around and hit these before you get absolutely crushed. Hi. Yeah, I was like, hi there, enemy. You can try your luck as well. Nice. Oh, it's a bit iffy because you keep moving up and down. Get there. Hi there, Octobrain. How you doing? Oh, stretchy boy. Nope. Come on, we'll get there. Nope. There we go. Okay, now we just need to... Now we just need to get that. And then get the heck out of the dodge. Okay, so now I have the key card. We should be good. To activate... <laughs> this and now see what happens raising some of the gate this is a hex and two-thirds of the puzzle has been solved kind of moment as well okay now now what do we do maybe there's something uh, unlocked on the other side so I had that I'm not too sure if that no other side as well yep Ah. 
Second verse, same as the first. How many enemies are there? It actually is a bit of a second verse, same as the first kind of vibe going on here. Because it's just like... This area is very much the same as the, the first. What was it? What was a game I was playing? Maybe Perfect Dark. I'm trying to think. It had like a desert section near the end of the game. I think it was Perfect Dark. I'm just getting like kind of similar vibes of just like... I know it's not a desert, but like just the holes. And then like seeing kind of the same environments again and again. I'm like, oh, okay. Because like this is... Yeah, is this any different? This is the same... Same kind of level again. Holy shit. Damn, I'm good. There's seven secrets as well. Seven secrets of the West. There's that guy falls in. Well, that guy, I drop some pipe bombs down here again, and we kill the guy in two or three goes. that again, reveal that, I don't know what's happening in the middle, uh, I jump up here, there's that guy still there, maybe I'll get him with the shrink ray again, maybe I shouldn't just aim at the wall, I did lose a lot of health though, that's the only thing, Is it worth it? I got a trigger on this. Mmm, I'll accept that. I'll accept it. Now I gotta get a red key card. Red key card. Where do you go? Be, okay, gears. I do enjoy me some good gears. So is there like one space that's like not filled or? Yeah, there is. Just slot in there. Hit the buttons. Run out of air because this is gonna that's gonna creep up on me real quick. Not have any air to do this. I should be fine, but just, I guess, mental note for anyone who's like, oh, how do I do this? Mental note. I guess that's the thing, is that, like, there's some, there's some people, and so, some, some things that even I've played, and it's like, I know them way more, and it's, here's, like, Duke Nukem 3D. I've played this episode once. I played through the base game uh, a couple of times, but uh, I usually play through this episode. I sort of played it once, and I was like, eh. Kind of got the gist. Lots of enemy spam. That's that was the gist I got. Um, and turns out I remembered correctly. Could it be because I play on Come Get Some? Or oh, damn, I'm good. Sorry. Um, who knows? Well, not damn, I'm good actually. Just gonna get some. All right, same deal. Lower the thing or raise the thing, and uh, now are we in for a gnarly boss fight? Come get some. I think we are. So I think once you've done that, um, yeah, is it wandering around or do I have to manually hit a thing? Do I have to manually hit a thing. Through the purple drank, where I'll proceed to lose all my health. I need it. Got some health. More health. I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. There's a there's a person. It's a bit of a tight space down there. I would really appreciate 
Uh, I mean, more more health is cool. I would really appreciate uh oxygen. Because I'm getting hidden like the the <laughs> the underside. But yeah, big cramps on that one. All right, well, we'll just hit this guy. That's the queen. Let's see if we can go for him. While constantly getting chased by other kinds of enemies. And also drowning. At the same time. And hiding my messages. Drowning. I had it. There we go. We did it! Oh my gosh, I got the double bot spam right as I defeated the boss. <laughs> In this cutscene, Duke has a scuba kit. But it's time to abort your whole friggin' species. Very nice. Very dead. Thanks to all our fans for giving us big heads. Look for a Duke Nukem 3D sequel soon. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it did happen. But. <laughs> but. There you go. There's the boys. Duke himself, he thinks he's on the team. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, no, that's it. That's Duke Nukem 3D in its 1996 Atomic Edition incarnation. Uh, a lot of good stuff, a lot of fun, uh, fun levels, and, and really as a retrospective, there's a lot of real, like, neat things. Actually, I think there's actually some, uh, sample maps as well, but I don't think they're, I don't think they're finished. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, this is how we test some things. Um, and also, I guess, a bit of a, bit of an asset test. Yeah, R&D 65 enemies, though. Come get the, uh, but come certainly, get yeah, the. there's, there's a lot to love about this game. I think particularly of note is that trend away from the abstract kinds of level design. Even if, you know, they still exist, it's like, oh, like an archway with the word zoo on it. Using a test level. We have textures of the enemies on doors, like decals and things like that, and whatever that is. I think that's just a statue. Why not? Why not just have a statue of an enemy? Can I open this door and see the enemy? There he is! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh! I like how they're all starting with a pose as well. Maybe I shouldn't be shooting them. Maybe I should actually be, like, experiencing them. Oh, I mean, I can't experience him. He saw me. And there's lots of little fun playground. I guess the is quite fitting. Um, but yeah, the weapons are fun and wacky and have a lot of variety. Uh, the um, yeah, the levels are pretty solid. Um, certainly, I think that yeah, the weakest part is like mm, the enemies are sometimes a bit annoying and. Generally, you know, there's a degree of maybe too many enemies, or too many weapons, like the trip mines, the freeze thrower, it, the neat... don't really know when you get to use them as much. You get this thing up. That thing's always cool. Uh, I hate the turrets. Uh, these egg enemies get annoying. That guy gets annoying every time. Uh... And, uh, when you got boss ones, yeah, very nice. And the droids. Most of these enemies are annoying. I find them all very, very annoying. These guys, yeah, these guys are just like, they just take, take so much. I'm oh, gonna hi. kick your ass, bitch. 
Let's end the level. <laughs> Thank you. I did the zoo. I missed all the enemies. And now we are back again. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's some other fun news maps as well. Yeah, piece of cake. Oh yeah, this is literally like sector testing. This is like, oh look at that, they move around. Oh look at that, it's the San Andreas fault section. Ooh. So there's lots of cool things, and I I think the engine's pretty neat. Certainly as well, it went on to be used for games that I think have just as good a pedigree. Um, certainly Shadow Warrior I think is real real solid of a game. Um, Blood's pretty good, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I guess there's also a Redneck Rampage, which I haven't played yet, I'm sorry. But then also, later on, Ion, uh, Ion, I was gonna say Ion Maiden, but no, they didn't call it that in the end. Ion Fury, uh, which is a, a 20, when did it come out? 2022? A build engine game, in 2022, just like I guess how there's a GZ Doom game coming out soon as well. Um, so, there's certainly a lot to, a lot to love about this kind of era of first-person shooters, and it's right on the brink of, you know, before a 3D first-person shooter really, really exists, even though the rendering looks alright. That's just because, secret, a secret there, if I go to video mode, the, uh, the engine really is meant to look like, oh no, not that one. Hold on, we'll get there. There it is. The engine's really meant to look like this. Where it just, it just wobbles and warps a ton. Um, and it's actually meant to even look worse because it's, you know, the screen res is wrong. And the refresh rate's kind of weird, but, uh... But yeah, I think that's kind of it. I think that's pretty much all I can show with the base game, so... With that, um... Yeah, we'll juggle around. Uh, but, uh, the, in 2016, there was the, uh, 20th anniversary levels. There's also the four different expansions, one of which never really formally came out, so there's certainly a lot of extra content of Duke to, to go through, um, but uh, for now, we'll leave it at there, so thank you all so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this stream, you can follow on Twitch, where I stream at 8.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time every Monday, and only Monday, just once a week, that's all, all it is, all it needs to be. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, that's okay. Uh, but if you missed part of this, the stream VOD will be on YouTube at some point pretty soon. A lot of people got recommended the last one, I don't know why. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, if you, if you do enjoy it, you can share it with me. I don't know, really. I don't know how to encourage people into doing YouTube, YouTube numbers games. I think, ultimately, if you enjoy it, that's the value. That's the value. I want you to enjoy this, so, uh, but yeah, no, it's all good. Um, if you want to see silly ramblings or silly retweets from of things, uh, don't look at Twitter because I don't use Twitter that much, or really at all. I just use it to cross post. I'm on the Fetty at m.bndow.com. You can follow me there. So uh, that's all, pretty much. So have a good one, everyone. Take care. Don't stay up too late. Uh, eat your greens and uh, look both ways before crossing the road. I don't know where I'm going with that. So have a good one. See ya.